I've noticed something which I noticed on one of the other issues. I, I don't know why this is, but if you have a black book or black cover, look what it does to the lighting. It's almost like it's, it must be bouncing the light off or something. Because it makes it really bright. <laughs> it's a bit weird that. Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we click look at various art books and magazines and today we're looking at issue number 58 of the Imagine FX magazine which is for July 2010 and we've got it's a tribute to Frank Frazetta so he must have died this month 1928 to 2010 so it's been 10 years well yeah it's been just over 10 years since little Frankie died, Frank Frazetta. Little Peter's with us today though, and I thought I have little Peter because he's black, and I like we like black. So on the back we've got, hey that's a bit different, oh I don't like that, that's boring, they've removed the, they've removed the ish, the, the covers. They used to put the other issue on the, unless that is the regular issue. No, I know what happened. That must be the regular issue and the subscriber issue. That's quite nice, actually. If that had been me, though, I would have made the whole thing black. I would have just made the whole thing black. But let's get into this one. Little Peter lets us in. Oh, look. It's all black. That's cool, that. Little Claire's here, our little, little friend. On 10th of May, just two days before we were due to send this issue to press, the sad news filtered through that Frank Rosetta had passed away. Little Frankie. Oh, this is nice. I like that they've done this. Get like a little little trib tribute to him. I'll be honest, I have not seen... Well, I have seen his artwork, but I've never really looked into him. I've never sort of studied him, but I've seen his name always popping up, especially people like Jonathan Rector and a lot of the podcasts. They always talk about Frank Frazetta, like on the Proco podcast and stuff. Oh, I like that, that. The Deaf Dealer. Yeah, this guy is like a legend up with Boris Valigia, I think. But like I said, I, oh, I love that. What, what a beautiful way to do it, look. He gets the front end. Yeah, that's beautiful, that. That's really nice of them, I think. And then inside we've got mango in this one. We love mango. Really excited. Fishies. Oh, that's nice, that. Look at this, look. Little fishies coming out of the seaweed. With like a little... I don't know what that is. Some sort of... I think it's like an alien. I like that. I'd look into this artist, I think. Ernard Valli Valletti. Valletti. Huh. It's a bit like the bloke off of Battleina Toshinden. Used to be a bloke like him on a ball. He go, ah yeah, da 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 da. It's a PS1 game. Another fishy. I've seen that before. I think. Fishies. Lots of sea creatures here. Look. I like that. It's quite cool. I feel like the lighting's a bit bright here. What have we got here? Hey, that's that bloke again, look. What's your idea of manga? Very quite interesting to read. Looks a bit rude, doesn't it? Looks like he's got a big woolly. <laughs> big Hey, why are you? Cool. And Chung Lee, look. Got a little Chung Lee up here. 
Oh, she's cool. Sakura. I love her music. Dun 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 I always pick either Sakura or Ryu on Street Fighter. I just spam the fireballs. <laughs> Yay! Oh, nice. Hey, it's Warren Lola. I love this. We're getting to see some of the best artists. Workstations. He's got little CDs, look. Little, little figurines. Cool. He's got all these books up there as well. That is that is an art desk I love. Yeah, I could imagine having that. I like that. There's little footballers. Planet of the Farts. <laughs> That's quite funny. Little creatures. That's weird, isn't it? Feel a bit sorry for her. Letters. Getting doled up. I want to read that one. I have no clue how to do digital art, but I use Imagine Effects for my textile art. Da -da -da. Hey, Divin Art. I thought I recognised him. I love that cover. Beautiful it is. Artists Q and A. Find only simple trips, tricks I can use to give a human face a weird alien appearance. Hmm, that'd be interesting. Oh, I love that. I like the over exaggerated legs. I like the eyes as well. It's quite cool. Yay! The rise and rise of manga. She's on the. I've seen her somewhere. I think she might be in that book. Manga book. Oh, this is cool. History of Mangala. Oh, I'm going to love reading that. Little books look super flat. Oh, this is fun. I hate that when it finishes and you, you wish there was more. Yay! Little Dennis's favourite bit, that. Veronique Mylenewod. Little sketches. Love the sketches. Hey, look at that, that. Bit naughty, isn't it? That's very naughty, that. That's what little Dennis and Kitty got up to the other day. She's knackered now, look. She's asleep. Because Dennis, we he, he weared her out, he did. They were at it, like, kept, kept me awake, they did. <laughs> Quite, quite cool though. We like these little sketches. Super fun. Little steam trains. Oh, that's nice. That's traditional. It's quite amazing. That's oil. That's amazing to me, that is. Look at that, look at it, look. I can't imagine how somebody could do that. I like the little feet. Nice bum as well, look. Very nice anatomy. Oh, lovely face as well. Expression. Who is that? Peroni Ugly Bog. <laughs> Peroni Ugly Bog. Quite a cool name. Whimsical. Whimsical. Onto the DVD. Look, little. Oh, 
a bit disappointed here because that's like to me that isn't manga enough that's not anime enough yeah this is not this isn't this is to me this feels a bit like again I've said before in that book they had like western western artists or something doing manga felt a bit like I like that one though I like these little heads what is this get under the skin of manga manga characters oh I like that one I love that one yeah not that one's not to me that's not like manga just looks like a lady with big eyes I like this one though I got that book. I need to do a click look of it. I believe it's got Marshall Van Drift's little drawings in here as well, which would be fun. I love this one here. Look at a lovely page as well. Oh, look, that's the regular cover, I think. I wish we had that on the back. That would have been. Better. I like this look, paint a dynamic manga character. Looking forward to this one on Ah oh, beautiful look. These were in that book as well. I hope we get to see the process of these on the DVD. It'll be lovely. Yeah look little line art. Make the unusual look natural. I like the shape of these little like big chunky limbs and stuff. Feels nice that. What a cool character that is. It's quite amazing. Oh, I like that one as well. <laughs> Paint an intense monster portrait. Look at it now, it starts out with like scribbles. And it becomes that. It's amazing. That person's got skills, who is it? Dave Raposa. Hey look, he's doing the same pose. <laughs> That's quite cool. I like that. He's turned himself into a monster. Yay, look. That's brilliant. I love that colour. Should have put 3D glasses on him. <laughs> that would been quite funny, I think. Like the old classic retro 3D glasses. Production design. Oh, cool. For games. For games. We like games. We like video games. Coming up in next month, next issue's workshop, Christian focuses on the game environment and Alien Island. That'd be cool. Yeah, here we go. Introducing Ken, Frank Frazetta. Cool. Ken Kelly. Oh, nice. Going to talk about little Frankie, I think. Art of Blizzard as well. Prince of Persia. Cool. My favourite Prince of Persia was that one when you had to you had to escort this lady around. It had like a cell shaded y feeling about it. I love that Prince of Persia. What's this look? Watch live interviews. Sketchaholic. I like sketches. Hey, that's the one I've got. I've got the older one there. The one before that. It's mad, isn't it? Ten, ten years ago. Colours. The Art of Uncharted 2. They're quite cool, I think. Skycrawlers. I'm sure I've watched that. Oh, I love that. That's one of my favourite animes. Paranoia Agent. 
it's got a little creature in it called Moroni or something. I think he's called Moroni. One of the best little characters ever. Little, little Moroni. Hey! The, no, that's not it. Prince of per Lost Planet. I love looking at those old games. Brings back memories. I like that. Street Fighter, such cool characters. I'm, I'm, I've never been good at those games, eh? I always wanted to be good at them, but I couldn't, for some reason, get get good at them. And it's little, what's his face? Scotty's, <laughs> Scotty's face means it's time for the DVD. Let's get little Peter. wonder what's on the cover of this one. He's having a bit of trouble here, getting his DVD out. <laughs> Peter! The penguin. Oh, cool! It's the little. Look at that! Look, it's got little thing, things on it. I like that. I wonder why they done that. I think that's why it wasn't coming out properly. Yeah, they must have done that to sort of put some grippage. Look at that! Bring the ring. Let's go and have a look, though. See what's. He's got a little shield. Issue number 58 for July 2010. Peter's going to go and put that on the DVD now. <laughs> so here we go with the DVD for issue number 58. I was a little bit disappointed with this one because I was really excited because it's all manga but the, the the videos aren't very good and stuff. But we've got the contacts if you want that, the website, you've got your references, F expose stuff and you've got your workshops. This one here is quite cool because you've got lots of little bits. So it's quite cool, but there's no video or nothing. But yeah, I would have liked a video on that one. This one here, it says male, female. <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't it? Male, female. I feel like there should have been something else in there. Oh no, look, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Did you hear that? That's like a female. That's like a male. The eyes are more baby-like. Stuff. Like oh, that was quite cool as well. But yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with that one. A bit disappointed with this one as well because we didn't get a video. But I love this image. Look how cool it looks there. Look. See that there is amazing. I, w I wish there was a video. Such an amazing image. Yeah, I love the image, but I would like to video. Oh, this one's quite cool. You get a video with this one. There's no audio, but I love the video because you, you see him sort of scribbling on top of it. Look, <laughs> how cool is that? It is cool seeing it come together like that. So I like that. It's, I wish they had audio though. That was quite cool. Oh, this one's brilliant. I like this one. There's an image here which is cool. Yeah, this, this one here, look. You get all the little characters. How cool is that? I would like to create a little female one like that. When we're little female characters, you also get that. I think, I think this is cool. Again, I wish that I had a video. So oh, I love that though. Let's get into the FX pose a bit though. These are little artists. I love this one. Beautiful little body. It's cool. That car looks cool, look. Again, this is one of the problems with the DVDs. You can't... You have to go and find the images to get them looking nice. nice. That one's cool as well. What I love about this bit is you get all sorts of different types of artwork. It's quite cool. Then we get into the resources bit. 
that little character here for Daz Studio. He reminds me of something out of like Oblivion, like Elder Scrolls or something. You got your paper textures. So like again, I love all these little textures. I don't really know what I would do with them at the moment, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gather them for the future. I'm gonna have a folder full of paper textures. So that one day when I know what to do actually do with them, I'll have them all together. Which is cool. We got Dash Studio. They keep giving that away. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Another little figure. Oh, these are cool. Little CG wallpaper. Look at this one here, look. I love that. That's cool as well. Look at her, look. <laughs> Funny. Funny little, look. No monsters here. No monsters here, get out. I love that. I thought it was quite fun. You've got the artist Q&A files. Again, there was nothing really that stood out at me in that one. But, the Charles Bernard video. My favourite bit of these DVDs. I think if it wasn't for Charles Bernard being on these DVDs, I, I think the DVDs wouldn't, wouldn't be that important to me. But I love these videos. In this one, what's he talking about? Walk, working from photographs. This is cool. Hello once again, <laughs> this is Charles Bernard. Hello. I'm a professional paperback book cover illustrator. Sexy. Welcome to <laughs> this video entitled How to Work from Photos. Nice. This is, this is quite cool as well. Look, look at this look here. Don't start drawing the figure with the clothing right from the start. If you do that without having a sound instruction of the figure, your drawing or painting of the figure with the clothing will never look right. And I see this being done so many times by artists. He, oh, brilliant. I love the way he, I love the way he teaches and talks. But I also love the way he's presenting these videos. It's like building up. So it's cool. So I get once again, as, as all, I think every single DVD I've looked at so far, the highlight has been these Charles Bernard videos. Really, I think they need to release a DVD full of these videos. They should sell that separately. It'd be amazing. That was a DVD for issue number 58. That's basically that. Issue number 58 of the Imagine FX magazine. Look at little Peter's beak. He's giving the DVD a clean. <laughs> That feels quite nice doing that. Hey, look at his little eyes, look. He looks like he's happy. I think he is happy, you know. Feels a bit like when you're stroking a cat. It's like you could do it all day, I think. Peter, he's so happy, look. Bing. Hope you enjoyed that, though, and I'll see you later for another one.